Welcome everyone to June's Switch's commentary. So we're gonna check out a video. I was told that it's funny, but it's a true life story, and I should check out this video. And it's called BKK First Time. Thank you very much for requesting. Like us on Facebook, follow us on Twitter, guys. If you want me to react to video, don't forget, of course, leave a comment below. Thank you very much. Let's go ahead. Let's see. Okay, so BKK first time. Dun, 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 dun. Wow, that is Thailand. Great. Wow. It's looking like the US there, though. Professor of Philosophy, I lived in Bangkok for three years. That's it Bangkok. Wow, it's look for a moment. What? This is seriously? What? Bangkok first, time. Bangkok first time. Okay, that's what BKK means. Okay. Let's see. Episode 1. The first bad word. I lived in Bangkok for three years. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. First two years, I was never cursed at. Uh -huh. As you know, <laughs> people were very nice. Very he said he was saying. However, I got cursed the first time <laughs> in the third year. <laughs> first time. I was going to meet a friend from all fun care. I was running very late. The bus just didn't stop at the bus stop. He just kept running the light lane. So I had to catch a taxi. Yeah. And there were very few available. <laughs> also, there was a man standing there ahead of me. I was running very late, and um, I couldn't wait. <laughs> so, you know, I walked out ahead of him. I tried to be a bit further ahead of him because, you know, <laughs> less awkward. Anyway, this guy knew what I was doing, and he was very pissed. <laughs> I guess he also was in a hurry. So this guy came up to me and he says in English, Your father died! <laughs> I was stunned. That was the curse! And I asked him, How did you know? How did you know how people curse each other? We don't have that in America. We don't have a curse word uh, concerning the parent, too. Like, uh, you motherfucker. Yep, but for dad, we don't have that. But <laughs> I died? It was so that is like, what? What did you learn from this? Thai people really respect their parents. If they want to insult someone, they talk shit about their mom and dad. Later, I was <laughs> an English teacher at a school around Paso. The first thing I noticed was the students there called each other by their parents' name. By the parents' name. Americans don't have that culture. Like my father's name is John. If you say John, I don't get angry at you. Yeah, it's John. 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 So usually they'll get angry if you say a friend. Uh, you know, kuyo, kuyo. I learned a lot of bad words. Kuyo, kuyo is a bad word. I sat. I hear. Omuntai. Omuntai. Two beats don't sound like a bad word at all. <laughs> I hear that sounding a lot bad. My favorite word is yat. Yat? Because it is a convenient word, you can put anything behind it. Thai people use it very creatively. They can fuck anything. People, animals, even objects. They can what? Fuck mom. Fuck dog. Fuck alligator. What? Fuck what? Fuck monitor lizard. <laughs> or even fuck mortar. <laughs> Why the fuck do you fuck mortar? Why do you... <laughs> A Thai goat? Please stay tuned. Oh wow. Obviously commercial section. <laughs> but if you want to read about the first time in New York, I recommend this book. Here we go. First time. <laughs> the motherfucker who made this video. <laughs> what? <laughs> See you at This dude is rude. 
This dude is rude. <laughs> this dude is rude. <laughs> oh gosh. Ay, 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 ay. Okay, okay. I'm sincerely sorry if anyone was offended by this video again. I'm reacting to the video. To me, it's a funny video. Um, I guess why the person said um, it's almost like a joke. It's funny. But I mean, what, I basically, what I'm basically understanding that he was mentioned the first time he heard bad words in Thailand, like curse words. Um, of course, when he was mentioning the Thai curse words, they were not, I mean, I would not really take them serious because I don't know what it means. Um, just like if I use one in my um, native language, you might not know what it means. I wouldn't say it because I know what it means. But for example, I don't see. Um, I'll use it as a good example. And I'm quoting, so I'm not really cursing, right? In English, if you say your mother potato, in Patwa or Creole, it would be lang patat mama. I'm quoting, quote unquote, right? So if you're saying that in English, it's like your mother potato, still it's sounding sort of offensive, like anytime you refer to someone's mother. I, I don't know why most of curse words have to be reaching on someone's parents, like your mother, your father. And if you say it in Patwa or Creole in my native language, in Dominica, that is serious, you are seriously cursing someone else. So um, I don't, I, I will not lie to you. On a scale of 1 to 100, I 97% don't swear or don't curse. If I do happen to let one out, I am very pissed and I'm very sorry. But I'm being human, I'm being realistic, okay? But I, I don't practice cursing. If you ask me, cursing is for people who lack a better way to express themselves. Um, but if you're angry, if you're really fed up, you know, out of frustration, you might let it out, but I'm not promoting doing it, okay? Especially for people who are having conversation. Like some people will say, like this effing um, remote not effing working. Why do you have to sell that for? Or this effing remote, can you pass me the effing remote? This is not making sense. But I mean, if... <laughs> it's just not making sense to swear, okay? With my 97% doing, it don't make sense to swear. Thank you so very much for requesting this one. Of course, like us on Facebook, follow us on Twitter if you want me to react to the video. Don't forget to leave a comment below. Thank you very much. Bye, guys.